texting me about half an hour ago. He's selling his house and he's got a septic tank. Now, the people buying his house, um, they don't know a lot about septic tanks. They're not sure about the septic tank that he's got in his in, installed. So they want to knock him down 15 to 20,000 quid. So he just rung me up to ask me if I had any ideas or solutions as to help save him some money. And strangely enough, someone rung me last week, exactly in the same boat. They've got a septic tank. The people buying their house have said, look, you know, we will buy your house, but we want to knock the price down by 15,000 quid. So this is common practice at the moment, especially as it gets nearer to the 1st of Jan 2020, where the um, septic tank ban comes into force. Not for all septic tanks, but for many septic tanks. So, <laughs> you know, it, it, it amazes me how many people in the industry and how many septic tank owners don't um, know that the septic tank ban's coming into force. For example, I was talking to a rep before he rang me up, he goes, oh, I don't like your site. Okay, fair enough. He goes, yeah, you're the guy that goes on about the septic tank ban, aren't you? He goes, you know, misleading people like that. So, okay, there's a lot of misinformation out there. I do these live broadcasts, not to sell anything or to forbid, you know, forbid get you to buy stuff, but I do these free broadcasts to help you. And this free broadcast is going to save you thousands and thousands of pounds. So first of all, let me just start off by showing you right, what the septic tank ban is all about. All right. Because there's many people in denial. That's fair enough. OK, they're in denial. The messenger does normally get shot if he is the bearer of bad news. So let me show you exactly what's happening here. And that's a nice cup of tea, by the way. All right. Let me just show you this. All right, so I'm just opening a uh, website now. And here we go. Opening a new private window. So I'm going to type in um, .gov. All right, so if you go on the government's website, you can actually see this in um, for yourself. So if you go onto the government website and type in general binding rules, all right, so if you type in general binding rules, this is all the rules and regulations regarding the septic tank ban. All right, there's loads of stuff here. But for, let me just show you what it's all about. So here we go. Okay, so I'm clicking the third one down here. Here we go. And so this is what the government say. This isn't what I say, you know. So here we go. It says general binding rules, small sewage discharge to surface water. And here we go. This is it. Rules you must follow if your septic tank or small sewage discharge treatment plant releases or discharges liquid to surface water. OK, rules you must follow. Now, these rules come into force on the 1st of Jan 2020. Whether you like it or not, OK, whether you like me calling it the septic tank ban, whether you like the government bringing in all these rules and regulations is, is irrelevant because they're coming into force, whether you like it or not. OK, so let me show you a bit more about these rules. So let's just scroll down the government's website here. All right. So here it says here. Right. So let's just go. There we go. All right. Here we go. All right. So let me just find that because I made it big. I can't read it. Here you go. You must have your treatment system, which refers to septic tanks or sewage treatment plants. You must have them repaired or replaced if it's not in good working order. For example, if it has leaks, if it has cracks in the tank walls or pipes, if it's got block pipes, if the signs that the effluent is not draining away properly. And here we go pools of water around the drainage point if the sewage smells if you've got a failed motor got a failed pump got a failed electrical supply if if you your septic tank fits any of that criteria 
Then on the 1st of Jan, it must be repaired or replaced. It's as simple as that. I'd like to put it more delicately to people. That's why it, people are calling it the septic tank ban. So that is that is that is part one. OK. And the second thing, if it's discharging. the, All right. So those are the I would call the subcategories. They're the there. There's lots of rules and regulations there. But the main one. Is to do with pollution. So what I thought I would show you is this. So here we go. Here we got a septic tank. All right. So here we've got a septic tank and there is a water course. OK, so you can see the water course here and here is a septic tank. So all the wastewater. From this property will make its way into the septic tank here. So let me just take the grass away so we can see what's happening a bit. All right. So there we go. There we go. So that is a typical septic tank. OK, so this it could be an old septic tank. It could be a new septic tank, could be, I don't know, septic tank that's just a couple of years old. So the point is all the wastewater, all the dishwasher water or, or the washing machine water, bidet water, shower water, sink water, toilet water all goes into the septic tank here. So let me show you what happens, okay? Let's take the tank panel off. All right, so here is the inside of the septic tank. So inside, oh, sorry, you've got an inlet and you've got an outlet pipe, all right? And what happens is all the liquid from the house will go into the septic tank. There you go. So that's typically what wastewater number one and number two water looks like. OK, and that's what the water looks like that goes into any septic tank up and down the country. And here's the problem. And here's the problem. Let me just zoom out a bit here. All right. And let's go to the water course. There you go. That is the problem that the UK government is trying to resolve, is trying to fix. Septic tanks that pollute and discharged directly into a water course and that's what the septic tank ban is all about so on the first of jan all septic tanks that discharge into a water course like this will be banned what do i mean by banned well the government's uh, authorities will come around they'll say look you know this is unacceptable and we want you to remedy the situation We'll give you X amount of time. And so there you go. So most people in this instance will have to spend 10, 15, 20, 30,000 quid replacing their entire septic tank and soak away system. Now, if you're selling your house, this can pose a big, big problem because you've got your house for sale. And then because of all these new rules and regulations, you've now got to spend or decrease the price of your house, right? By the cost of what it's going to cost the people buying your house to pay someone to replace your septic tank and soak away. And, you know, I've batted around these figures for ages, 15, 20, 25,000. Grand, and it's true, people are ringing me up saying, you know, we've got to reduce our house price. And, and, and initially, the initial knee-jerk reaction is um, I'm not knocking my house price down by 15 to 20,000 pounds. Forget it. They can go to hell. Right? That's the initial reaction of most people. But then as you sleep on it, you think, well, hold on, you know, this is going to happen every time someone wants to buy my property. So that's the situation. That's what the septic tank ban is all about. So what's the good news? Well, the good news is I'm going to show you how to save thousands and thousands and thousands of pounds now. OK. Because. There's a very, 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 very. Simple way. To make your septic tank. I'm going to say this again, right, for emphasis. There's a very, very, very simple 
and cost-effective way to make your septic tank 100% legal, government approved, all right? So if you're selling your house and you're in this situation, if you're buying a house and the tank is in this situation, then this video is very important. It'll really help you, okay? So how can you fix, remedy the situation and save yourself 15, 20,000 quid? Let me show you. You get your builder in, all right? You get your builder in and you get him to dig a very small hole. I'm gonna show you, okay? So let me show you this. All right, he digs a very small hole. Okay, there you go, that's it. All right, so if you're wondering about this bit here, this this other hole is just a cutaway section that I've done. So it would look like that, okay? So that's the hole that he's cut away. All right, so that, that's the size of the hole that your builder's gonna be dig, digging. The grass panel here, I've just, it's just cut, I've just removed it to give you a cross section of what I'm, I'm saying you. So your builder comes in, and he digs a very small hole. Then you just do two simple things. What's this? Number one. Oh, sorry, wrong one. You put an inspection chamber, okay? You put an inspection chamber, you make a new hole in your septic tank. So the sewage effluent now goes from there into the inspection chamber. That's number one. And number two, here we go, here we go. You put in what I call the ecosystem. Voila! There you go, look at that baby, okay? So this is a government approved, organic, non-electric septic tank converter, okay? So let's just show you around this. This is what it looks like, look at that. So, all the liquid now, all the horrible liquid is still in your septic tank, okay? So it's still in your septic tank, all right? But instead, instead of um, uh, horrible, yucky, nasty pollution going into the river, this is what happens. The liquid goes into the inspection chamber here. It then passes through this amazing, septic tank converter and let me show you the results look at that bam that is absolutely amazing so there you go so instead of having to pay 15 20 or 25 thousand pounds to replace your septic tank and sewage system all you have to do is put one of these ecosystem these septic tank converters in let me tell you the price of them. All right. So a uh, guy last week, as I said, 15,000 quid plus the VAT. I think it was going to cost him 18,000 pounds. Companies had um, quoted him to replace the entire septic tank and soak away system. These septic tank converters are 2999. So straight away, you're saving five, 10, 12,000 pounds. That's minimum savings, right? So you the people buying your house, you haven't now got to reduce your house price by 15 or 20 or 25,000 quid. You don't have to reduce it at all. Just get one of these septic tank converters and put it in and convert your septic tank, your, 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 your septic tank into a government approved sewage treatment system. There you go, that's it. It's as simple as that. So now you can ask me how, how, all right, how, how do you get them in? What's the catch? There is no catch. These are non-electrical systems. They've got no moving parts in, right? They've got no cogs. They've got no gears. They've got no bearings. They've got no motors. They've, they've got no pulleys. They've got no shafts. They've got no bearings. They don't use electricity. This is why the government are backing them. The government are pushing these systems at the moment, right? Sewage treatment plant companies hate these septic tank converters because it's doing them out of have been 10, 20,000 quid. But, you know, why replace your entire system when you can just put a government back? These come with a certification from the government, right? So you put one of these in, all right? Then you go back to the solicitor 
representing the people buying your house and you say there you go it's all fixed there's your government certificate and they'll be like oh great okay problem solved job done so there you go that's what i wanted to share with you today that is how easy it is to convert your septic tank over all right so let me just show you this so let me just put the uh, let me just show you what it's like how easy it is to put in all right yeah now you're going to ask me another question people ask me well how long who uh, do you, do i install them what's the what's the price what does it cost to install them can i tell you these systems are made for the diy market and made that you people are putting these in with no experience it'll take you 40 minutes to dig the hole most people just get their local builder or grounds on if he's got a digger he's just got to dig a hole and put this small tank in and connect the pipes in and then he's got to do this watch i'll show you what he's got to do next let me show you this right he's put that in and then all he's got to do is this put the soil back i said you don't need any concrete or anything with them you know it's just amazing so there you go and that's what they look like when they're in it'll take you your builder will start work at nine o'clock and it'll be finished by two or three or right, maybe it'll finish at five if you give them a cup of tea and a ham sandwich or something like that but that's it and so let me show you right so then when you've done that you can just turf it or put some grass seed down and that's it that is how to make your septic tank fully legal right before the first of jan 2020 so there's no catch there's no con i just do these live broadcasts for free because i want people to can be able to legally convert their septic tanks over without having to spend 15 20 30 quid it's ridiculous so there you go so that is basically uh, the live broadcast today so i hope that's helped so yes there is a septic tank ban coming yes it is annoying if the people buying your house want to knock your house price down by 15 20 30 quid. yes it is annoying that if you're buying someone's house and it's going into polluting a stream and you, you know you've got the hassle of sorting it out and you sort out with the solicitor liaise with them yes it is a hassle but this takes all that hassle away it's a septic tank converter Maybe the people buying your house could go halves with you. That would mean, right, if they went halves with you, that would mean it would cost you <laughs> 1,000, just, uh, you know, uh, 1,500 quid to, to fix your problem. So there you go. So listen, um, if you, oh, yeah, last question. Sorry, I, I was getting carried away then. If you want to know where you can see more information on uh the septic tank ban you can go to the government's website which i've already shown you or you can just do this look just go and type in septictank.co.uk right so and then my site will come up and then um uh just click on i think it's so quick oh no sorry it's a treat oh i can go there anyway at the top of the plant there it says sewage treatment plants and there we go there it is clear fox septic tank converter there it is and and the government approved oh yeah here's a picture of it look at this yeah this, this will put it there you go that's exactly what it is it's called an ecosystem septic tank converter there you go it's as simple as that the ecosystem septic tank converter allows your septic tank to discharge into the water it's legal it's government approved it's backed by the secretary of state building regs love them sepa in scotland love them ireland loves them wales love them but no one really pushes them or promotes them because they people want you to spend 10 20 30 quid buying their systems so for me this is a no-brainer so just go to septictank.co.uk You'll see a little video why I've done there. Um, there's a bit more information and it will do up to 12 people. So let me just tell you how many bedrooms or people this will do, right? So the government website says um, it's about 1.3 people per bedroom. So let me just get my calculator out here. Okay, so 12 divided by 1.3 is nine. All right, so this will do nine bedrooms, nine bedrooms, and there's no electricity or any cost, right? And what's even nuttier at the moment, I was telling a guy before, I got a thousand quid off these units at the moment. They're normally 4,000 quid, but they're just like 2,999 today. So there you go. So if you want to convert your septic tank, that's what it's like before, that's what it's like after. If you want to convert your septic tank, then don't spend out tons of money. Just go and put yourself, a septic tank converter in.
So listen, thank you very, very, very much for watching this live broadcast. I hope that's helped you today. Um, at the very least, I hope it's, uh, you know, taken a load off your shoulders or a load off your mind. Uh, you know, I hope it saves you 15, 20, 30,000 quid. So, so look, um, thank you very much for watching this live broadcast.